Hey y'all, how are you? Today is um, Monday. It's Monday, happy Monday, or whatever day it is you're seeing this. Um, it should be Monday for you if all goes well tonight. So, I just went to Chick-fil-A. I haven't left town yet, so I'm still in San Antonio, but I'm flying to Missouri today for a work trip. I get to St. Louis at like five something, and then I have to drive about an hour and a half to the, like, to the hotel, like the area, the city where our office is. So, that's what I'll be doing tonight, and then I'm going to go to probably Walmart and get some stuff for breakfast and for lunch, some creamer, um, a few tidbits for dinners. <clears throat> I'm going to do kind of like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out later. But right now, I just wanted to pop in and say hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, please subscribe if you'd like to stick around. Um, I don't always travel for work, but this is something I meant to the last time I did, sort of a hotel meal prep, and I forgot. So we're going to do it this time. I actually didn't forget. I was just eating like an a-hole. You know what I mean? So we're not going to do that this trip. But I just went and got lunch at Chick-fil-A. Also, can we just talk about like the amount of chicken? Can y'all see that? Like, hi. Thank you. I love you. That's amazing. So I'm having the cool wrap with some honey roasted barbecue. This stuff is my jam. It's 60 calories per packet and it is like so similar to Chick-fil-A sauce. They're very, very similar. So if you like Chick-fil-A sauce but you don't want to waste 140 calories on a packet, get the honey roasted barbecue. So the really the reason that I popped on here is because I wanted to show you that I know for sure I'm going to have sandwiches and or a wrap or a pita, something along those lines, but it's going to be like turkis, turkey, lettuce, tomato, something like that. We'll um, figure it out once we get there and I decide exactly what I'm buying, but I know that that is my plan because um, I need something cold that doesn't need to be heated up, something that I can put in my fridge, walk it to the work fridge, easy, easy, nothing has to be cooked, you know. I'm a little bit limited. I don't really have room to do big salads every day. And I thought wraps or sandwiches would be good for like a hotel mini fridge. So I went in to get my Chick-fil-A because I wanted to pick up some condiments from their little condiment bar. So I got mayo packets and mustard packets. So I will take those to um, the hotel with me. I'm just gonna put them in a Ziploc bag, throw them in my suitcase. Um, they'll be there whenever I land and I'm ready to assemble everything. And that way, um, so I got four of each, but now I'm realizing I probably only needed three, but that's okay. Um, I'll just leave one at work or whatever. But I don't know how many calories this is, but I'll use like a low calorie wrap so this won't really be an issue. Um, but that way I don't have to buy condiments um, that will only, I'll literally be using for three days and that's it. So yeah, there's just no point in wasting the money on that when you can get condiment packets for free at fast food. And I think that Chick-fil-A has the best like condiment bar. They have jelly packets, like they had grape and jelly packets. They have little creamer things. Um, I'm sure they don't appreciate me being like, go get your stuff for free, but I bought a meal. I deserve it. Maybe I need four mayos with my wrap. Okay. Don't judge. So yeah, just quick and easy. And I feel like this is such a good tip if you're traveling for just like a week and you don't want to waste your money on things like that. So yay for thinking ahead. Go team. Okay. So I'm about to eat my wrap because I'm starving and it's 1130. I took a really early lunch today because I had to go to the bank because yo girl lost her debit card at the beach. Yay. Really, we were at Whataburger and I passed my card to Morgan and I, I think he gave it back to me. He says he gave it right back. I don't know why he wouldn't. Honestly, I can't, I don't remember the order in which the card, you know, what happened to it. We couldn't find it anywhere. I didn't even realize I had lost it till we left, but we cleaned the whole condo for the most part. Um, and so I can't imagine that it was there and I just didn't see it, you know, so it might've fallen out of the car, it, whatever. We couldn't really find it, but it's not a huge deal. Luckily, I can get a temporary for my bank, which is what I went to go do. I've already double checked with Enterprise that I'll be able to use my temporary card to, um, you know, rent with and stuff like that. So yay, we're good. Um, but yeah, so I took an early lunch and I'm about to eat this. Everyone really doesn't go to lunch until like 1145 or 12. And I'm just feeling like I want to be alone. So I'm going to eat in my car today and, um, just enjoy myself. So I'll talk to you guys later, probably when I'm in Missouri. 
Um, I'll get pick up my rental car, drive, and then we'll talk whenever I'm at Walmart or whenever I get back to the hotel. So see you in just a second. Okay, so I got to the hotel. It's, I believe, already after 9 o'clock. Um, I stopped and had some Subway for dinner and then drove here. Had to go to Walmart first thing. So this is my haul. All of this was about $32. So I did get some LaCroix, just sparkling water to get me through the week. They didn't have a store brand. I was trying to be, you know, super cheap. But, um, yeah, this was all that they had. So I picked up that. For breakfast this week, I'm going to be having these. I'll just bring this to the office. I usually eat around 10. They are 130 calories. They pretty much have the same nutrition as regular Nutri-Grain bars. So I picked up these in strawberry. For lunch, I'm going to be doing pitas. So I got the Joseph's pita bread. These are 60 calories or one Weight Watcher Smart Point. So I'm going to have that. I'm going to top it with probably two slices of the turkey and two slices of the ham. I didn't pick up any cheese or anything, so I was trying to keep it a little interesting. Um, but here you can see the nutritional value there. Then I'm going to have some lettuce on the pita. Butter lettuce salad. They didn't have, I wanted to get green leaf lettuce, but they were out. So I just picked up this. I thought that would be just fine. Um, and then, of course, I bought the little condiments from Chick-fil-A. So I've got two of the honey roasted barbecue, mustard, and some mayo to go with my pitas. And then I also went ahead, these were $2. I just picked up the storage containers because I was worried that once I got everything, um, my little sandwich baggies wouldn't be enough. They wouldn't be, like, large enough to hold everything, and I didn't want to run into that issue. So I did pick up some containers. I will try to take them home with me, hopefully. Um, for a snack, I just got these Ritz crackers. They didn't have any smaller packs, so I had to get an eight pack. And I picked up this brand because it was the cheapest. Um, these are 200 calories per pack. The other one, which is actually more expensive, was 180 calories per pack. But I figured my lunch is already going to be pretty low, so I'm not too worried about it. I've been eating, trying to eat around 1,400 calories for the day. Um, and then I got myself a little treat, Reese's Sticks, TMI, but it's, you know, it's that week and I just need a little chocolate in my life. So I'll just have one of these if I want it every night. These are, I haven't even looked at the calories, 110 calories per piece. And then I picked up the uh, Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch. This is actually for dinners. Um, the hotel that I stay at has dinner at night and they have a good pretty good salad bar so I will make a salad along with um something else they'll have like grilled chicken or whatever it is they have and if I don't want it I'll just pick up something out or like a quick freezer meal and have a big salad with it so I will probably do what I eat in a day videos or I'll probably maybe put it into one like dinners I eat at the hotel or something like that so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing whoops this week um, and then I think the only thing I didn't talk about was the creamer. So this is my normal creamer. I just bought the little pack. I was going to try the Califia Farms pumpkin spice one, uh, but the Walmart didn't have any of that brand. So I just picked up my normal one. That's just fine. I'll have to look for the other one whenever I get home. But this is my little grocery haul to get me through the next few days. This actually would get me through probably full five days, but I'm only going to be here for lunch. Um, for three days so I'll probably um, at least take you know the crackers the pita breads and the the cereal bars home with me the rest of it um, I might even have a pita for you know dinner one night we'll just see how it goes but this is yeah this is everything that I bought let me flip you around okay so I just put maybe this way Okay, so I just put everything in the fridge. I did pull the fridge out and turn it down. Again, it was cranked up all the way. And y'all remember last time I was at this hotel, I um, froze everything in it the first night. All of my premier proteins were basically ruined. They never like went back to that consistency. I was upset about it. All my carbonated waters were frozen, which they survived, but it was just really annoying. So I turned it to about half power. Um, so anyways, let's a symbol. One thing I didn't really think about, but it's just the risk we're going to have to take today is I don't like have a way to wash these. Um, so I don't really know. 
I guess I'm just gonna rinse them and we'll be right back. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry, everything's the same We'll try tonight, but this time we're not safe and sound Okay, again, sorry for the lighting, but this is the assembled meal preps. We've got the pitas, lettuce, turkey, and ham, the little condiment packets, breakfast, a snack, and then um, some chips. And I did have to kind of eyeball, that's probably too big of a serving on that one. This one's probably a little closer, but two days is not going to kill me. If you travel a lot, like on a weekly or maybe even a bi-weekly basis, would probably recommend bringing a food scale because they're usually pretty tiny and easy to throw into a suitcase. I know mine would be. I just didn't think about it or, you know, didn't really find it necessary um, for a few days of travel. So this is what I'm doing. I will put all of the um, calories, Weight Watcher Smart Points either on the screen or down in the description. It will for sure be in the description. It might be on the screen if I get fancy. But this is my hotel meal prep for the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to me if you want to stick around. Comment down below if you'd like to chat with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.